Come on, mate. Come on, get scrap. We're, we're going, mate. Yes! Right, come on, mate. Just, just get in the nugget, right? We're off, we're off to Cassie's, mate. It's Cassie's. Come on, mate. Look, I patched the rust myself. Oh, glamorous! Right, we're on the nugget. Here we go, What a desolate drive. Oh, but we made it. We've done it. Oh, Cashies. It's like a garage sale with dedicated business hours. Modern day Australian treasure hunting this is. Take home an Australian backyard icon. To Americans, you'd assume it was some sort of Aussie cult shrine. Would you like to heat your home with kerosene? Well, mate, Cashies is filling a gap in that market. Why not grab a deli slicer and offer friends sliced shoes like an insane person? Rejoice at their wide range of identical step-ins. Never have I found a better variety of heavily worn gear knob ends. Get Nana out of that Stannis stairlift because she's gonna do the jitterbug when she spies this handsome Yamaha organ that a lot of me really kind of wanted to take home. Now featuring real dust. Oh, you gotta take a look at the golf clubs no one will ever buy a section and it's all modern stuff. It, it's all clubs I'd, I'd happily use. I mean, year 2000 was 21 years ago after all. Oh, but who am I kidding? The boys were just hiding on me. See you in six months, guys. Ooh, built in Adelaide, good old Tonsley Park, and the only car that reliably blows smoke on Australian roads. We buzz, you are right, mate? Hey, hey, Buzz, mate, you're right. They had a spinning wheel. Make your own thread out of discarded dog hairs. Team up with an old mate with a loom and you can make a smelly, itchy carpet company. But some hush, please, as it's my honour to introduce to you. It's the big boy saw. For big boys only. They had subs at quite a nice price, I must say. Lamp. Lamp. How about a pair of used drumsticks for the price of new ones? This is where older brothers find player two controllers. I swear that soccer ball controller has been here since forever. This fridge has already been attacked with an axe, so you don't have to do it yourself. Did like a deli close down? What's with all the deli slices? Someone has given up on their beans. They handed them in. They did not vibe with the beans. Hey Yoda, you okay mate? Hey, hey, Yoda, you all right? Getting swole is the cashies goal. I found a footy. You bet Joel's taking this one home, mate. I haven't had a Sharon in a long time. The best part of driving nuggets to the cashies, mate, is that it's easy to find your car. You just need to look for the worst one. Now all we had to do was load it up, mate, and hope she started. Oh, it won't open. Stupid nugget. In the back with you. Please start. Okay, bit of choke. Right, bit of pedal. Right, is it a neutral? Well, if I don't know. It's like stirring bath water. All right, here we go. Come on, Bubby. Oh, we we got it, mate. <laughs> yeah, we'll get there. Zero k's an hour is so quick, mate. Oh, jeez. Well, it spits out fuel when it's full. That's nice. And <laughs> 14 liters, empty to full. Ah, all done. Turn her off. That got it. Mission accomplished, mate. Fool that Fiat Nicky's a nugget, huh? So I do have a second channel. It's called Garbage Time. There's a link below. My old mate James helped me find that thing. And all weekend, we had gotten it going. And like, I'm making a Garbage Time video about it. I'm still filming it. But why am I telling you this? It's to explain the gloves I'm wearing. Keeping old nuggets alive is hard work. And this morning, no lie, it died on me in traffic near, like in a bus lane. It, it just stopped. It wouldn't do anything. And so I'm all in the engine bay. I'm all in all through it making checking the battery suffice to say my hands were cut to ribbons with a filth that time will never remove it was literally half an hour ago i i had to push it uphill so i showed a bunch of manky stuff in cashies but like it really is modern treasure hunting there's always amazing stuff in there and to start with this is stuff not even for this channel this is just selfishly for me i was a sega kid growing up i didn't have no nintendies i got a lot of old consoles here but it's so hard to find the boxes for stuff because it's made out of cardboard and it just rots into oblivion. Yo, I'm a box mega drive. 
drive with that terrifying game like that I just didn't vibe with as a kid. It just freaked the heck out of me. This box is too big. It's got headphone out and literally like you get stereo. It's it's so good. Here's a picture of her on the floor. Look, it's actually in there and everything. And it costs this very, very specific price. Now to some people that might seem expensive, but like in its box with the foam, with the everything, like welcome to collectibles. Look, another actual cool thing. Back in the day where having a clock on you was like, whoa, you can keep time. Um, I don't have any baby bats to put in here. It takes little button boys and you know, <laughs> it was just there for cheap and I never had a game and watch and I have no attachment to this at all. You, you know, here it is. So finding that genuine video game stuff was great. Boy, you know me, mate. I like manky bootlegs. It's a manky bootleg mega tray. <laughs> it's got HDMI, but you're 39 bucks. Too big for my crappy set. Just want to take a quick peek. Uh, it's got a cartridge port. Uh, it's got headphone jack. Oh, that's legit. That switch is gross. It's made out of nothing. <laughs> Seeing HDMI in the back of an old Mega Drive really makes me happy. Yeah, um, I have no plans for this and um, I'll do something with it one day. Makey bootleg NES game. Like, Hess carts, they, they look like an absolute freak and, <laughs> you know, they piggyback off another game to get around the Nintendo chip sort of thing. It's really kind of funny. I've never seen one in its actual crappy box. And like 20 bucks. Mmm, it looks good. Oh, Solitaire, the most brutal of all. Uh, and now some like proper nostalgic stuff that I saw in there and I went, you give me that right now. Someone handed in their Tarzos. <laughs> it's a full book. And the dude working at the cashies, Chris, he was like, he wasn't sure if there were any Tarzos in it. And, and there's Tarzos in it. Tarzos are terrific, according to Tarzos. Eat potato fried things and you get these plastic discs. I remember the Dragon Ball Z ones. Those are my favorite ones. Oh, look, you got prog rock band Wiley e. Coyote here. Oh, what? They got like the printed in a bit as well. Is this an absolutely complete set or something? <laughs> What? Someone's just handed this in. They've just gone, no, nah, I'm done with them. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Simpsons ones. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> Sorry, the camera's at a different angle. You're not seeing the version I'm seeing. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yeah. All right. This is the best thing I've bought now. There's more. <gasps> it's all of them. <laughs> oh, now we're back to the... To the regular ones. And we're back to those ones. Oh, that's awesome. That was awesome. I, I've got to look at the Simpson ones again. And uh, there we are. Is there a year on these? 1996. That's slamming. Yay. I'm happy. Proof that I did buy the footy. All right, I was online. I bought that footy. All right, mate. We're just going to have a quick kick in the footy. Oh. Another childhood thing. And this one's pretty cooked and I haven't watched this in like a good 20 years. I was really young when I first saw it. My dad showed it. HR puffin stuff. Look at this. It is cooked. It is. <laughs> what is he? And yeah, as a kid, I loved it. I just, I couldn't wait to watch the next one. We had on VHS. And so yeah, every single episode's in here. And that makes me so happy. They actually had like five buckaboos, mate. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> looks like looks like he's posing for his driver's license or something. Disc three, okay. Disc two. No, it's meant to be three. Oh, it's missing the first disc. If I was gonna be missing a disc, it'd be disc three. I want the very first. I was gonna watch this tonight. That's right. I'll cheer myself up. Bought Buzz. <laughs> It was in perfect condition. That face is just getting me. Mm. Door he coming. <laughs> that boy coming. And it's filthy. And I paid four dollars, which is probably four dollars too many. As this is literally it's landfill. It's yep, he is he's lost it. <laughs> oh, that just split it. Oh, uh, oh wow. Oh wow. Oh, Buzz can take it. Well, that was fun until it wasn't. Okay, off to the bin with you. Look, they had one of these for $19. I've seen these in memes. It's like it has delay or something. Mate, mate. There, there it is, mate. mate. Right. right, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, and gentlemen, gentlemen it is my privilege to introduce to you Frank the Snake.
back. There you go. That's that's all it does. It, it's just it just echoes your voice back. Now I always test microphones some sort of convoluted story off the cuff, and well, I guess this is going to be no exception. So like this one time, mate, I, 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 I went down in a food land. I'm like, yo, mate, you got them double stuff, Tim Tams, mate. I'm I'm feeling those double stuff. And like the cloak wasn't really listening to me, mate. Like Tim Tams, like they're all kind of sold out because of like the lockdowns, mate. People seem to be buying all the Tim Tams. And I was like, well, that's right, mate. Just just pull me the direction where the double stuff. And like, it turns out it was like it was a public toilet. I wasn't even in a store, mate. Can I borrow five dollars? That is a quality purchase, right? That's a good one. But what about main event stuff? Manky old MP3 players. Oh, well, here's the thing. There were none. Most cashies actually had more accordions than MP3 players. I'm not talking iPods. I'm talking MP3 players at all. That was until I went into the last cashies and they had three boys. So I, I bought all three boys and, and, and here are two of the boys. Um... So I, I bought the three boys and I walked them to the nugget and I put them in the nugget and then I drove here and then I took them out of the nugget and one of the boys is gone. I I, I don't know. I've looked, I, I've spent a good 20 minutes looking. I, I've lost the nugget. It's gone. Like, <laughs> there's just an iPod. No, nah, no. Nah. That's just hanging around. And I don't know where it is. <laughs> Phantom nugget. Maybe I dreamed it. Right, stand back. We are arming the nugget. Oh, that's crunchy. Oh, I see something. Hey, stupid sticker. I, iPod. Uh, anything on it. Oh no! Boo! There's nothing on it. Will it stay on when I unplug it? It does! Well, barely. I mean, this backlight isn't coming on. Yep, I'm in the backlight settings and. Ready? Backlight, always on. No backlight. The hopes of this whole video rest with you. Humble discarded iPod Nano. Nano. Oh, that's a good start. The screens on these nanos are actually really good. I just don't vibe with these nanos for some reason. They're just like the weird tier ones. Oh, is it wiped? No! Hot oh, dingers. Oh, they've been wiped. They're never wiped. First one goes missing. And yes, it stays on. Well, at least this one actually works. I'll just wait for the battery to expand and kill itself. It's got that gross camera in it. Yes, that is a camera. Uh, I've already done a video very, very long time ago where I used one of these exclusively. It's lovely. Enjoy it. Now, if you think we're well done, you owe me an apology because, mate, they had the gold mine of nugget phones. It was literally a bucket. Is, is this healthy to do? Should I be touching these? Now, I went a little bit crazy and I bought a single pair. Well, right, maybe that's a lie. I, I might have bought three pairs. I, I, I lied. I bought nine pairs. <laughs> Come here, Mr. Diablo. We're going to see if we can pop any. And they're all really gross. Yeah. Excellent. This is how you know you're thinning out the soup a little bit too much. Yeah. Yeah. Crunchy. Come on. That that held out pretty good and they're nice and warm now. <laughs> Yay! I just get to plug them in and just just full whack. Right, I've got some nice old speakers here amongst my drum stream rig, and there's like an old Cashies amplifier down there. Let's see how these ones fare coming out of the Cashies amp. Whoa, welcome to the floor, guys. Alright, we gotta gotta get this in there. Oh, it's so quiet! Oh, that sucks! Ah, dingus! Well, it's okay. There is someone planning, like, a headphone destruction thing for me. And so, yeah, I'll save these for that day. And so, uh, let's put them carefully, um, uh, yeah, right here, right there. Well, that's it. Huge thanks for watching. Big thanks to my patrons, especially these stinky names right here. Because, mate, one dollar a month, I do extra videos. And, um, this one's gonna be a bit of a special one. Come here, garbage. So, this old iPad case has finally gotten to the point where it gets regular complaints. I mean, look, that's just happened today. That, that new white spot there. And people are like, well, just clean it. It's like, I can't. It's cooked. Like, the coating will just come off if I scrub it any harder. So, I did do a poll, and everyone said not to change it. But I noticed the highest rate of comments were change it but not the color i hunted one down it's a genuine one boom brand new like there you go <laughs> yeah we're gonna swap it out and you know i'm still gonna keep this case you know i'm gonna put it away but we gotta hand the torch at some point 
because you know there's still many a grit to be had we need to start all new landmarks and things but yeah this is just absolutely gone it's the original case for this ipad that i bought brand new it's an ipad 4 so in the after show mate we're gonna do a new case ceremony and we're gonna kiss this one off in style so thank you so much mate and i'll, I'll see you all next time dun, dun. Dun 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 Franklin You okay? Is this what you wanna do? Alright